What's up guys, I'm Zachariah, and this ring right here, right here, represents a promise that I made to myself, my family, my future wife, and to my God that I would save myself for my wedding day. That I would not have sex, that I would be a virgin when I say I do. Now if that wasn't enough, I also promised that I would save my first kiss for my wedding day. Call me crazy, <laughs> cause I do. But now I'm 20 years old and I haven't broken that promise. I haven't slept around, I haven't given my first kiss away. I'm still waiting. Now I don't say all this to say, hey, look at me, look how awesome I am, I have self-control. I say this because we live in a culture that does not endorse this. If you look at TV, magazines, the internet, the music coming out, they're not screaming this idea of abstinence and purity and how sex was designed to fit inside a covenant of marriage. No, you see this message of live while you're young and if it feels good, do it. Feels good, feels good. Feels good. Now don't get me wrong, I think sex is amazing. I mean, I don't know from experience, but uh, from what I hear, it's pretty great. <laughs> uh, but it's not some cheap toy to just be given to any person. It's a priceless gift to be shared between a husband and his wife. And it's so hard to wait, I know it is. So hard. I know. So hard! Especially when you got media in your face every single day saying, if you haven't done it, you haven't arrived, and you gotta try it before you buy it. We live in this hookup, breakup society. You get together for a, a few months. That's uh, probably a little long. A few weeks. A few days. One night. Then you break up and you're devastated. You thought this guy or this girl was the one and now they're gone. And when you have sex with someone, you're not just connecting with them physically. There's this emotional bond that connects you on a much deeper level than that. I won't get into the science behind it, uh, mainly because I don't know the science, <laughs> but you connect with that person on so much more than a physical level. And then you break up and a piece of your heart is still with that person. So you find another guy or girl and you do it over and over again and your heart's been ripped into pieces by all these relationships. And it breaks my heart to see that this is the norm of our culture. It's just a part of the dating experience. Date for a little bit, do married things, and when you've had enough, just dump them and move on to the next one. And you see, I don't want to give my wife just a little part of my heart because countless other girls have the rest of it. I want to give her a heart that's full and unbroken, a heart that's been waiting for her and only her since the day I was born. So what does this look like in the real world? For me right now, it's being a friend to the girls in my life and treating them in a way that shows honor, respect, and love so that when they look back on our relationship together, they don't have these negative feelings. They don't have these feelings of how I took advantage of them or took something from them that didn't belong to me. I want their future husbands to be able to say, thank you for being a good friend to my wife. And I found that you can find out so much more about a person when you're just friends with them. Because when you're dating, you can tend to put on this mask and you're on your best behavior because you want to impress this other person. But when you're friends, there's not as much pressure and so you see this person for who they truly are. And I can tell, okay, I like this quality about this person. I don't necessarily like this one. And I can determine right there if I'd even want to pursue marriage with this person before we even date. And I don't have to find this out the hard way by dating her and then be all like, uh, can we still be friends? Because that always works. So I say all this to encourage those of you who are waiting. Keep waiting. You're worth waiting for. You're not alone. I know it may feel like it in our culture and it seems like everyone's doing it, but it's going to be so worth it. Keep waiting. I also say this to challenge those of you who aren't. Maybe you don't feel like you're worth waiting for. You truly are worth waiting for. And you can say, starting right now, I'm going to make a commitment to wait for my future spouse. And maybe no one else feels this way. Maybe I'm alone in saying this, but if I am, I'll continue to fight for my purity and for my future wife. But I don't think I am.